Hey yo, what up guys, it's Darkwood5 here today to bring you a brand new video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sephiroth's equipment. I want to see what he has. Uh, I'm sure anyone who's watching this is probably curious and wants to see what he has as well, so let's take a look. Sure, let's take a look at Cloud's equipment first. Power Sword, Iron Bangle, Power Wrist. Wow! He has a Power Wrist on, which is a plus 10 to strength. But he does 14 damage to a dragon. Okay. Sephiroth's equipment. He has the Masamune, the Gold Armlet, and the Tough Room. Vitality and Spirit plus 50. Uh, Vitality and Spirit, if I remember correctly, are Defense and Special... Uh, a Magic Defense. I almost called it Special Defense like Pokemon. Okay. Masa Moon, and of course I can't change any of Sephiroth's equipment. I was hoping to see the stats on uh, on Sephiroth's weapon, but I can't. Uh, what about Materia? Preemptive, and this is Sephiroth's Materia. Okay, we have Revive, we have Restore, we have Earth, we have All. Fire. He's missing a slot. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Why is he missing a piece of material? He easily could have had something. Like an all there. It's just not there. It's gone. Oh, that's interesting. When you click on it, it just says, uh, Sephiroth is just like, ugh. Is he not allowed to switch them? Like, because of his orders? I don't know. He's got ice, all, lightning, all. He's missing fire all. Earth all. Lightning all. Ice all. Revive restore. The reason why I'm spending so much time on this right now is because it was made very apparent to me that later on in the game, um, the reason why uh, Cloud is able to sneak up on Sephiroth and stabs him in the back, pretty much killing him. Uh, more or less, is because Cloud has preemptive. Like, it's the materia he has. It's, um, uh, really interesting narrative shit, you know? He has preemptive, that's why he's able to sneak up on and, and get a surprise attack on Sephiroth. Fascinating. Now I'm taking a look at Sephiroth, and I'm like, why is that empty slot there? And I'm trying to think about it, like, in that kind of terms. What's it connected to? It's connected to fire. Why? Well, if he had fire and he had all there, which is what he has through all of these other spells, ice all, lightning all, earth all, well, eventually, I guess he finds that all materia, because what does he do? He burns down the entire town. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, then again, that preemptive thing is pretty compelling. We'll see. Alright. What's this? Uh, a mysterious colored cave. It must be the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why the Ma Mako reactor was built here. Okay. I have the special ability of no combat on. I don't know if there's a term for what that is. Like the special remake abilities? Uh, um, as I've mentioned in other videos, uh, when this was remastered, it was, there was three special features added. I'm using one of the special features. You can kind of see it off to the left, or to, if you look down there, right, really far down, you'll see a blue square. Uh, here's another blue square and another blue square. One of them is three times speed. That was obvious. One of them's, um, 
ultimate attack, which is this one. And then no combat, which is that one. That one just means that I don't run into random normal enemies. I'll still fight bosses and everything. I just won't run into random enemies, which is super useful. It just kind of sucks when you are super under level. <laughs> Come across a boss and you're like, oh, I was not prepared for this. What's this? A, a Mako fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it does look like it'd be very beautiful. Man, if you saw that in real life, it'd be crazy. If the Maka reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. So, Tifa knows this. So, in her world, it must be just like what? A fact? Materia. When you condense Mako energy, Materia is produced. It's very rare to see Materia in its natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use Materia, you can use magic too? You're a soldier, and you don't even know that? The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the Materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the power of the planet. The, uh, the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic, or so they say. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet. So, interesting. It's, so materia is crystallized memories of how to cast spells. Like this was knowledge that was learned over time and then eventually that knowledge that knowledge somehow couldn't be absorbed into the planet. It had to become physical. Why not? Everything else uh, becomes part of the planet and then gets reincarnated as like trees or other people or whatever animals but the knowledge of magic is incapable of just being forgotten and becoming a part of the planet it has to become a physical crystal object that then can be reused by other people why It's really interesting. You know, this game is amazing at developing fascinating questions and then never answering them. Really good at it. That, uh, yeah, I already read that. Magic. A mysterious power. <laughs> Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use unscientific terms like mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. I still remember how angry he was. I will kill him. I will find him one day. And who was that? Hojo of Shinra Inc. My father. An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. Oh, right. He thinks that gas is his father, right? I think he thinks that gas is his father before he finds out. Like, oh no, it was Hojo. He was a walking mass of complexes. He was a Mako fountain. So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is. Great music. Do 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 do. Uh, there was a back door I could have entered. I didn't even realize it until I had already... Okay. We finally made it. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But take care of the lady. Leave no witnesses. Uh uh, you gonna die. Oh man. Uh, 
better take real good care of me then. Okay. Can I can I leave? Oh, I've never tried to leave before. Tifa's literally just kicking rocks. She doesn't even know what to do. She's so bored. I've, this is fascinating to me, guys. I've I've never seen this. All right. It's it, I'm sure most people are like, "Oh, well, whatever. It's a detail you've never seen before." But I've played this game a lot. I'm finding all sorts of stuff I've never seen before. Let's see. What happens if I talk to Ramirez? Nothing? Can't talk to him? Okay. Still, interesting detail with Tifa. <sighs> so, I've got these chains. Fast forward it a little. Huh? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No? Yeah, there's another doorway over there. Oh, that's where I came in from. Got it. Can't look at the pods yet. Level. Yeah, level 5. They all say level 5. This is. Genova. Oh, uh, this is Genova, right? It won't open. Why do pipes say Genova? I understand why the door would say it, but what do the pipes say? Oh, they're pu because they're pumping the particles into the. into the. Not test tubes, test chambers with the people in it. This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Okay. Well, he could have just easily closed the valve. Okay, whatever. Why did it break? Doing his thinking pose. Mm. Now I see Hojo by doing this. But doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. Professor Gast, fun fact, is Aerith's real father. So yeah, there you go. Um, we see flashbacks of him at some point, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he he got busy with Alfana. Elfana, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Elfana. And uh, they had Earth. This is a system that condenses and freezes the Mako energy. That is, when it's working correctly. So this is basically like the first attempt at soldiers, right? Because all soldiers have Genova cells. In them. It's what allows them to utilize the excess Mako energy to turn them into super soldiers. So this must be like the first attempt, or one of the early attempts at least. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's further condensed? Uh, oh, um, yeah, it becomes materia. Right, normally. Oh. Oh, that's why the Genova cells are so necessary, because if... If a, a person was just injected with nothing more than life energy, they would eventually turn into a crystal. A crystal beam. It, that's what it would be. Nothing more. But by adding the Genova cells, which cannot become uh, crystallized, it can't become a part of the life stream. It'll never dissipate. These cells exist forever. They are a shape-shifting organism that is always going to live. It's like, the, it's like John Carpenter's The Thing. Right? These cells will never die. They will always exist, even if separated from the original body. So, that's why they need to be injected into soldiers. Oh my god, I've been wondering this for, for a few months now. Like, okay, well, why is it that people, why, why is it that they get Genova and uh, Lifestream implanted in them? Well, now I have the answer. It's because without the Genova cells, the super soldiers would just turn to crystal instead of having powers. They'd just become crystal, essentially. But with the Genova cells, which can't become crystals, it keeps everything working. 
allows them to, to use this extra life energy and be superheroes, essentially. Wow. Okay. Alrighty then. Didn't see that coming. But that's kind of one of the points of playing through this. Right. Normally, Bahojo puts something else in there. Take a look. Exactly. So he just pretty much confirmed this. And what do we see? We see a being that's turning into a crystal monstrosity. Because they didn't get enough Genova cells. They didn't get enough Genova cells. Hojo was trying to find the perfect mixture between life stream and Genova cells. And these were the, the failed subjects. Well, what is that? Normal people of Soldier are humans that have been showered with Mako. You're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? They've been exposed to a far higher degree of Mako than you. Because Hojo hadn't gotten the mixture right yet. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo of Shinra that produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy. That's what these monsters really are. Yeah, they used to be human. Normal members of Soldier. You mean you're different? God damn it, Cloud. Uh, hey, Sephiroth! I didn't mean to trigger uh, I didn't mean to, to trigger any like horrifying flashbacks about your past. No, stop. No. Was I? Was I created this way too? Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth! You saw it. All of them were humans. Human? No way! Gee golly gee! Ever since I was small, I felt that I was different from the others. Special in some way. But not like this. So Sephiroth is wrong. This is not how he was created. At all. He was created because his biological mother was Genova herself. This is not how he was created at all. Interesting though. Interesting regardless. Alright guys, looks like I'm out of time for today. I'm 18 minutes in. So, uh, thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see anything specific, let me know. And I'll do my best to accommodate you. Anything in the game, or if you want to see any other games, let me know. And I'll do what I can. So, thanks for tuning in guys. Hope to see you again soon. Peace.